Oh my goodness. <gasps> Guess what just happened? We have something very exciting in this enclosure. What's going on? I was playing video, I mean, working. Yeah, you weren't playing video games, of course. I don't know what you were talking about. No way. Yeah. What? Way. Oh my gosh. Mexican black king snake eggs. Oh, wow, they're so long. Those are really long eggs. Yeah, they are. I see five. Oh, there's five of them in there? Wow, yeah. Oh, Is, yeah. How's she doing? Are you done? Are you done? Don't eat me. Please, please don't <laughs> no eat guarantees. Me. She is an MBK. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's so skinny. You're Holy moly. So little now. Oh my goodness. She's got like a wrinkle of skin here. She's so little now. Don't worry. Oh. She'll be able to fill that wrinkle in with oh, food. Absolutely. Yeah, you'll get extra meals. You'll get that back, that weight back on in no yeah. time. See, this is what happens when you lay eggs, Onyx. You get more food. Yes, yes. Don't focus on being a little thin right now. Focus on the extra food you're gonna get. Don't do your breeding <laughs> twitch in my hand. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Weirdo. So yeah, we have Mexican black king snake eggs. Onyx here is the girl we picked up from Craigslist years and years ago. As you got her from Craigslist? Yeah, we got her with Lieutenant Dan, the legless lizard. Oh, that's right. In that group deal. They came with a scaleless rat snake, I think, that we didn't keep. And maybe one or two other things, I can't remember. Hmm. But we initially bought the group because of we wanted Lieutenant Dan and the Mexican black king, and they were only sold as a group. Sorry if our audio is weird. By the way, we just realized our microphone hasn't been plugged in for- It was on. Who knows how long. It just wasn't plugged in. Yeah, so I don't know if the audio has been f taken from the mic or from the camera's mic, which isn't yeah. as good. So we're gonna find out. Yeah. All right, anyway, we have Mexican black king snake eggs. We'll show you the father who's in the back in just a little bit. I'm gonna put her back so she can relax. Here you go, girl. You did so well. Let's take a look at your eggs. She, look at this, she like made a nest. She was wrapped all around them. She overachieved for her first mom. Yeah, she did. All right, I'm gonna pull these out. These are really oddly shaped eggs. Jeez, they're Look. so long. Why are they so long? Look at this one. That's like two eggs mushed together lengthwise. Maybe they, do they come out like huge? I've looked them up before and they look like normal colubrid eggs. Hmm. I've seen them this long. I have seen pictures of some colubrid eggs though being longer, so maybe just some are like that. Maybe it's just her. Yeah, it could just be her. Exactly. Good job, Onyx. We'll get you a snack. Don't worry. All right, you just said something really interesting. We don't have a waiting list for these snakes. We actually don't. I I don't think so. Anyway, I don't think I started one because I didn't want to get everybody's hopes up. Granted, oh. we did the same thing with Madagascar giant hognose eggs, and people still emailed saying, just in case you get some, we would like to be added on the list. So I did it, and we got eggs, so we have a list for them. But that didn't happen with the oh. MBK eggs. So these are unclaimed babies. I'm gonna probably make a waiting list on Patreon before this video video comes oh, yeah. out so we'll have 40 people that want these so when this video comes out there will be a waiting list but it's just kind of funny because at the time of filming there isn't one which reminds me I could actually like film a little clip that's gonna go on patreon so they're gonna see that and then see me filming that clip here so you could see the let's it's like filmception filmception yeah all right, all right do let's, it let's do it okay patreon backers we just had a new species of snake lay eggs for the very first time here at snake discovery and they're very very long that's an odd shape can you guess what species they are try to guess in the comments and i will answer it in a little bit nice that's awesome <laughs> All right, I posted it on Patreon, and we're Let's gonna see, if, see any answers. if anybody guesses what species was laid here by the end of this video. That'll work. So I'm gonna set these eggs, I guess, down just on this cart I for now. Adjust my filming. Okay. Wait, what's the two used blueberry dishes for? Uh, we're out of containers for eggs because they just disappear in this facility. So we grabbed a couple of blueberry containers and taped up all the holes. I blame Haley. <laughs> Why do you blame Haley I bet, for I bet everything? Haley's bringing them home. Blame Amelia for something. Like I blame Callie. Oh, it's probably Callie. Callie's, well, Callie did take a bag full of things Callie home. Callie keeps but, taking but the But then containers. Callie brought them back. Yeah, she so. brings them back with holes. <laughs> okay, anyway, we made the deal with uh, a couple blueberry containers. So I'm glad we grabbed two of them now. Yeah. I thought we were just gonna grab one, so we grabbed a second as a backup, but I think we're definitely gonna need both of these to hold all of those eggs. There's a lot of tape that went into making sure these are gonna hold air or hold the humidity. Yeah, really. Okay, we'll see if it holds. Guys, we are professionals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 
as we use old blueberry containers that are taped up for that snake eggs. They're not probably going to be watertight at all. They but might okay. be. We'll see. We'll, yeah, we'll see how well we did. I tried to press in on all the holes. Is it going to be watertight? I'm going to need more water. Okay, that one's good. Well, that one's, that one's good too. I can see the oh, yeah. standing water in that put, one. So wait. actually, these are pretty watertight. Well, I'll lift them up. We'll see if there's any water underneath. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. Uh, whoever did the right one did not. Do I a think good job. you must have done I'm that one. Pretty sure I did that one too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that we have. Should work. Yeah, I think I think it'll work. Now we just need to make some divots for these eggs here. So I'm gonna stick one right here. Oh look at that! Mexican black kings create just a teeny bit of adhesive between their two favorite Aww. eggs and none of the others. Yeah, and all the others don't. You know, those are the crappy children. I guess maybe we're just used to bull snakes. And they like produce so much adhesive. It's just weird to see. Look at this egg. Why is it that long? Why does it look like Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo? Like honestly, here we're just. It's like two eggs were pushed together into one. Well, as long as it's healthy. I mean, this one kind of does look like a dog poop. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. I mean, she did push it out from the same hole she pooped from, so maybe she was just confused as to what was coming up. Yeah. She clenched a little bit too early. Yeah. It caused a crease. <laughs> there's stretch marks on these eggs. <laughs> you think there's any twins? Oh man, if it's gonna be twins in any of them, it's gotta be one of these two. Yeah. I'm gonna claim it. We're gonna go twins. T W I N S Z. Oh. Yeah, I did it the right way this time. I'm gonna claim that that one is twins, and if it is, then we're gonna do some big giveaway on Patreon. I don't no, know. No, if that happens, we're gonna go buy a lottery ticket and stop <laughs> this whole YouTube thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do if that happens to be twins. All right, perfect. So what do we do with the last four? I mean, we could do baseball. Base? Oh, because of the twins. Because <laughs> of Minnesota twins. Yeah, our terrible baseball team here in Minnesota. <laughs> All right, yeah, we can do Or we do could that. do Minnesota sports. So we got the uh, the Vikings. Ew. Um, <laughs> Should I do like the logo for the sports? Sure. All right. Got the twins, which okay. I guess we're just gonna write out. <laughs> yeah, twins. Twins. Here is our uh, poor football team that everyone likes to yell "skull" to for some Boo. reason. Ooh. Yeah, it's Boo. dumb. If you yell "skull" at the TV when you watch sports. I'm just saying that you're putting the tw the Vikings on an egg. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Does it deserve it? No. No, that egg's not gonna hatch now. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Ew. No, I got nothing against the Vikings. It's just because they're neighbors. They're our rivals. Yeah, they're our rivals. It would be cool to see them win a Super Bowl one of these days, and that's coming from a diehard Packer fan. <sighs> there we go. Vikings. The Vikings. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Why do you we- can, You can do it. I believe in you. Why are Minnesota's logos so intricate? I was gonna say, the Vikings did have quite a bit of an intricacy to it. Yeah, this is, I think, even like, worse. Green Bay is just a G. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> That's what we should do in one of these clutches. We should, like, predict the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh, with, we could. With, like, teams. And we don't have to add the Vikings, because they're never gonna make it to the Super Bowl. We still have a couple clutches. It's true. Okay, we'll have to hold on to that one. Okay, okay. I give up. I can't draw the wild logo. I tried, I mean, guys. I can see it. I don't really see the bear in it, but you know, it's all good. There's a bear there. in the logo? Yeah. That's the, like, the mouth, nose, Oh, eye. the whole thing is yeah. the mouth of the yeah. bear. Yeah, true. There. That's, that's the wild. <laughs> <laughs> now, now you can see it. Now, what are you going to do? You could do the, the soccer team. We think we have a soccer team. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's another Minnesota big sports team that nobody watches. I mean, people watch it, just... Nobody in our circles? Yeah. Can you guess what it is? That didn't work. That was supposed to be that. <laughs> the Timberwolves. Oh, it's the Timberwolves. It looks, okay. It looks like the Planet Express. You should have done the other, to... Oh, it does kind of look like Planet Express. <laughs> right? You should have done the one next to it. Oh, yeah, that one? That would have been much better. Okay, the well... The T-Wolves. Yep. T-Wolves right there. Yep, that's a wolf for sure. <laughs> All right, what's the last Minnesota sports team gonna <laughs> We're be? gonna end on one that's actually easier to draw, hopefully. This goes to show how me and Emily look at sports. I know NFL, I don't really watch hockey, and I don't really watch basketball yeah. or baseball. We don't have time to watch sports. Plus, I mean, all the other sports are boring. Come on. They really are. Who watches the, any of these? It's just the Minnesota college yeah. teams. The Golden Gophers. Oh, okay. Are they okay. all under the same thing? They got all they all called the Gophers? Um, I don't know. 
I only went to college there. I didn't actually pay attention. Aren't you supposed to pay attention to the college you go to as far as your sports team goes? I even got alumni of the year this year. Yeah. <laughs> you would think I would know anything about my college, but I, mean, I don't. There you go. That's you know it. the logo. I know the logo. Yeah, I I know that. I guess there's that. Ah, look at the beautiful logos <laughs> of Minnesota. I love the twins one. <laughs> Yeah, twins. <laughs> yeah, not That's, my best drawings, but... That should be the new twins logo. <laughs> it should Just be the... twins on like a poop-shaped yeah. oval. <laughs> and with the W a little offset. <laughs> yes, somebody please Photoshop that onto some twins merch. That would be amazing. All right, well, we've had our fun. Here is our Mexican Black King Snake clutch. Uh, I swear we're professionals. We are. Yes. M, B... Yeah, we don't really K. have to show MBK to MBK. Yeah, exactly. We have two of them, so. Yeah, that's MBK clutch, MBK clutch. What's the date today? 518, I think. 18. Okay. There we go. Now, the next challenge is uh, gonna be finding them room in the incubator. I think you made room for them in the last. Yeah, oh, that's right. I did make yeah. room for them after we put omelet eggs in. Yep. Okay. So I think we're good. Someday you will be an incubator and you will make our lives a lot easier. There's room, but just barely. Is this the last clutches we can put in here? I think so. I've got some room like right above omelet eggs. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah. We there got we tons go. of room. What are you we talking about? We can fit about? like one more blueberry container there. <laughs> And that's it. You showing off daddy? Yeah, here's the proud dad. Aww. This is Aomer, who was given to us by our fan Tamari years ago. When he was so small, he was still on large pinkies, if I remember correctly. Wow. So he is an adult, small adult, male MBK, and... Well, he's an adult enough to give us bibis. Yeah, he's a proven breeder now, assuming the eggs hatch. Hey, buddy. Aww. He's doing so well. He's such I'm a beautiful... i didn't bite you. I think he might, might still try to eat me here. We'll see. He has a huge feeding response, as always. Don't, as all don't. MBKs do. Yeah, he is trying to. He's thinking about yeah. it. So I'm just going to set him back here. And you did your job, which was great and all, job, but uh, I think Onyx did a little bit more work, so yeah. we're going to reward her for her eggs. All right. Do you think she's going to eat? I bet she will. She's <laughs> taking a bath right now. Oh. Don't know. She's washing all the, uh, the birth stuff off of her. I don't know how birth works. How does birth work, Emily? <laughs> your parents. Oh. Let's have a little stick should with I, that. Should I call my mommy and daddy at yes. 11 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock their time? Yes. How does birth work, mommy? <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. Don't know why you're in your water dish now, but here you go. Will you take an offering from me as a good job reward for laying eggs? Here, here. Oh, yes, yeah, she will. Oh my gosh. You're going to eat it in the bath? Okay, she's... Yes. I mean the best place to eat tasty snacks is in the bath. Apparently, yeah, I'm just gonna let her eat that in peace. Okay, great. So, thank you guys for watching. We are so excited to have Mexican Black King Snake eggs. We the second new clutch we've had this year. Two new species this year, guys. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Like, everything in the zoo seems to be breeding, which is so much fun, and I'm glad that you all get to experience it with us while we find all these eggs, while we incubate them, and then finally, soon, when we watch them hatch. I can't wait to see little baby MBK yeah. heads poking out of their crazy. eggs. Oh my gosh, yeah, so we're thrilled. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you as always to our Patreon backers for your very generous support. And oh, speaking of. Oh yeah, did we get any uh, talk any, from them? Has anybody guessed? She, she lost her food, by the way. Oh, why'd you let it go? Why'd you do that? Let's see. Everybody's guessing false water cobras. Wow, they're way off. False water cobras are huge. Somebody guessed, so someone named Jamie said, my heart wants them to be Madagascar giant hognose eggs so bad. Not these ones. <laughs> Not these, but uh, you're gonna be in luck. That's the other species, which video's already out, so it's fine. Uh, people are guessing the indigos. Uh, people are thinking those are just potatoes. They're not even eggs. Nobody has guessed Mexican black king snake yet. Oh. I'm gonna let them hang on it yeah. uh, a little tomorrow bit longer. Sometime. I'll tell them tomorrow. Only yeah. tell them once they guess it. Yeah, I think I will. I will. There you go. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Rex, are you gonna be the next one to breed in the zoo? Yeah, right. I yeah. hope not.